Meteorologist Kyle Roberts, and you're talking about a humid morning. Yeah, and a hot and, afternoon. And, and hot <laughs> afternoon. And you know, I wanted to say, pumpkin spice season oh has started gosh. in addition to this humidity. So I'm like, this just well, if, yeah, if you if you wrong. if you want to sweat a little bit more, go yeah. get yourself a, uh, a little pumpkin PSL this afternoon and <laughs> PSL latte. Something sip like Sip it that. while it's 100 degrees that outside. Right. It's not right. Maybe get the iced version. They make <laughs> oh, it iced. That's, that's actually a good idea. They make it iced, right? Yes, you they do. Of course, okay. they, yeah. of course. Well, I don't know. It's not so my sweet. not my cup of tea or cup well, of coffee. You, as we you do know say. the weather, though. Yeah. that I do know. I love my coffee, just just normal coffee, though. I don't need anything <laughs> fancy. Uh, yeah, fall temps. Uh, I don't have that in our future, but I do have some relief on the way, and some rain chances making a return for us. It's down the road, though. It's not this weekend, and it's not. The majority of this upcoming week, we'll talk about it coming up here in a second. 78 right now feels like 81 over Cedar Hill. 81 at Fair Park feels like 85. Plenty of sunshine to go around. Heat advisory in effect today for DFW up toward the Red River. A few counties just south of DFW and everybody out to the west as well. Remember, that means your afternoon heat index values could be anywhere from 105 to 110. Doesn't mean if you're in Hillsboro, Corsicana, Athens, Canton, Sulphur Springs, Paris. Doesn't mean you're going to be basking in fall like pumpkin spice weather this afternoon. No. It means you're going to be hot. You're just not going to be as hot as the areas under the heat advisory. And then we have that excessive heat warning outside of the WFA viewing area up toward Wichita Falls. We had one of those in effect yesterday for portions of North Texas. That's where the heat will be even higher. That's what we're dealing with this afternoon. Everybody's hot. It's just shades of hot. You can see once you head up toward Wichita Falls, Archer City, 106 the high. It's around 100 for DFW. It's upper 90s, maybe even some mid 90s across eastern and southeastern North Texas. That's why some are under the heat advisory, some are not. But you're still going to be hot and you're still going to have a heat index likely above 100 degrees. It'll just be in that 105 to 110 degree range from DFW to the west and to the north. We'll do it all over again tomorrow, except temps and heat index may be a degree or two cooler. We'll end up seeing if we have a heat advisory in effect for tomorrow. There might be a few locations that are under one, but most places will be in the 90s tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 90s as we end the weekend for your Sunday and those heat index values. Not going to be the worst ever, but they should still be above 100 degrees for quite a few of you. I'm going to go about 102 in Dallas and 102 in Fort Worth. High pressure continues to be nearby, but here's the good news for you. As we head through the upcoming week, check out what happens. Makes its trek to kind of the north and east by the middle part of the week and High pressure kind of fizzles out as we head into the upcoming weekend, which is, of course, your Labor Day weekend. So it's hot, dry, humid for now, around 100 with a higher heat index value. But Labor Day weekend does bring some changes. Some rain may move back into the area, and that could help cool us off as well. And see, through Labor Day weekend, most of the state of Texas has a chance for some showers and storms. Will it be a washout of a Labor Day weekend? I don't think it'll be like that at this point, but it does look like some rain chances will make a return. So I've you know, 98 to 100 degrees through Thursday, 97 Friday, upcoming Labor Day weekend, 96 Saturday, 95 on Sunday or Labor Day Monday, 94 and highs in the low 90s for that first week of September. So that's headed in the right direction. As you can see there, it's about a 20 to 30 percent coverage of rain each and every day Labor Day weekend. As I mentioned, it doesn't look like it'll be a washout of a weekend at this point, but also if you want some cooler weather, it may take some rain chances, and that's what I have for the upcoming weekend. Oh, yeah.